Hello everybody, your favourite spot here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are making a review of the medium that we played a while back now but I never got round to reviewing it because Resident Evil Village came straight out so it's a bit on long overdue but we might as well do it. So to start with, the game itself takes around 10 hours to finish. I completed about 9 hours 40 minutes I think my uh, final time says. Uh, that was without going through the game again for collectibles and I only ever played it when I was making videos So about 10 hours give or take depending on how you are playing at it uh, The game itself I thought was pretty good It's got the camera angle like the original Resident Evil games where it's sort of behind you But from a distance so you can sort of it sort of just follows you above like your shoulder height which uh, it does give you quite a eerie feeling, you know, especially when you can see things coming towards you. But it also does the classic thing where when you walk around corners, it does change the perspective from like uh, you'll be walking at a side of you or it'll be walking in front of you so you can see what's behind you but not in front. So you know, it does it does change depending on the location, which I thought was pretty good. It's kind of old school, which I did like. Uh, the story itself was. It's a bit strange at times. I do think I, by the end of it, I did stop putting trigger warnings in because there was a certain certain aspect of the game which probably some people might get a bit triggered by. It. So yeah, we're not going to go into too much detail. But if you're planning on picking it up, there is a couple of uh, things. It, there is a warning at the very beginning of the game when you load it up every time. So it does pre-warn. The graphics on the game I thought were pretty good. Um, I played the original build of it, so before all the patches or the graphics came through. So if you watch some of my older videos, you will notice textures looking plastic and things popping in and out and clipping through things. And the by the end of my video, I'm pretty sure I finished it just as some of the new updates were coming through. So people playing it now probably won't have many, if any, of those problems. I thought the overall concept of it with the dual worlds playing at the same time was pretty good and by the end of it I got the hang of it of you know, swapping between everything in different dimensions and working all the puzzles out because some puzzles need to be solved in one dimension and then you get the thing for the new one and you, know, you keep going back, back and forth like that which uh, I thought was really good, I thought it was quite interesting and it was somewhat different. Um, difficulty wise I don't think it was difficult at all, I can't really i don't think there was actually a difficulty setting i think it's just because there's no real enemies to fight really it's just hiding really you sort of get chased by a big main monster throughout the game and then you get other little ones during it and you know it's just things like that it's more of a story game really it's like if you're interested in story games it's it's a lot better action wise it's really high on that one because there's no fighting it's more evading really uh, achievements wise if for people who do like them there are 39 altogether um they just main most of them are find this you know, eight, you know one out of five items collectibles and then you get one for 10 one for 15 20 you know stuff like that and then one for finding them all uh you get stuff like evading monsters without being seen and completing this mission and you know just general things like that it wasn't particularly hard i Played the game once and got 34 out of 39. I just missed the, odd, missed the odd collectible. I thought the enemy design and the overall aesthetic of the game was really well done. How like it, it the game set in Poland, uh, so you got sort of like the old Polish sort of themes and the houses and the buildings and you know uh, none of the people they they all had Polish names but none of them had Polish accents. They all had like British American accents and they all spoke English. Uh, obviously you can change it in the languages but. You know, I thought we could have at least given them a bit of an accent. You know, I didn't even know it was Polish until somebody actually said something about Poland. So I, you generally probably wouldn't have even known. Um, the overall look though, of the game was really well done. The monsters looked absolutely vile most of the time. <laughs> Whoever came up with them is wow. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, the character design as well, I thought was pretty well done, and I do like how each because there's a couple of main characters in it and two of them have like special powers and the i like how they don't just both glow in the same sort of way they both have their own sort of unique way of doing it and sort of you know unique power shall we say 
But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. And the way you handle each scenario, I thought was quite good. And the sort of the puzzles, you know, none of them were really hard. I don't think. I think the all were re relatively easy. You sort of work your way through them. You know, once you get the hang of one and you sort of understand flicking and to and throw, you do get quite, you know, quite good at doing them. Um, like I said, difficulty wise, it's it's not a very difficult game. So if you just you could probably complete it in a day or two, or one really quick day. You know, if you don't mind playing one game all the way through for a good ten hours, you know, you could do it in one sitting if you really wanted to. So yeah, overall, I think it's worth picking up, especially which is should not forget to mention. I did pick it up on Game Pass, uh, so obviously it was free. So the game actually is forty two pound in the UK. Um, I believe it is actually on sale at the minute for about £33 of when I'm making this video, it obviously depends on when people are watching it, but um, yeah, it's about £42 normally. So if you've got Game Pass, I'd definitely pick it up, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's optimised for the Series X and plays really well, it's a really smooth game. I don't really encounter any glitches, it's, you know, except the textures that was the only thing audio wise it was pretty bang on uh also audio was incredible in this game because obviously you can't fight enemies and sometimes some of them are invisible so it's quite handy to have really good audio i was always playing with my headset on quite loud and you know it's terrifying quite frankly because you can hear the monsters breathing behind you before they get you and the footsteps and what put you know them stepping in puddles and things so it is quite immersive, so you know I definitely recommend playing on the Series X if you have one, and having some good quality headphones for it because it really did bring it out. So overall, I would probably give it about a seven, seven and a half. I think it was really good. I found it quite easy. It was, and for a horror game, it wasn't really scary. You know, there's the odd nervous bits. But I think that was that's only a one-time sort of playthrough thing. Once by the end of it, you just you know it's it's fine. You, you know you end up you sort of have a recurring boss where you fight him like three or four times. By the fourth time, it's just like you know I've defeated you three times. You're not really scary anymore. I don't really care. So yeah, I'd say about seven, seven and a half. Yeah, you know, uh, I didn't really have any problems with it, and like I said, it was free. So what's what's not to like? So I hope you did enjoy this video, it's a nice quick one from the usual. Um, I'm going to, every time I finish these playthroughs, I will be doing a review. This is obviously a bit late because I was focused so hard on Village. Uh, that review is also going to be coming out next, so keep an eye out for that. And then the final game we'll be playing after that is Psychonauts 2, so keep an eye out for that because I cannot wait. Uh, I'm really excited for that and I really hope it's going to show when I play it. So I hope to see everybody in the next one. And bye bye.